G'day guys and welcome back to the Coffs Harbour Fisherman's Co-op. Today we're going to be playing with well, what we call up in this part of the world flake. It's a shovel nose shark. So a rather long slender sort of fillet. Um, delicious on its own already. Um, quite, a, quite a cheap fillet of fish. Um, but what we're going to be doing, very similar to a previous recipe, the Swordfish Kiev. We're going to be actually doing it with the, the flake. So just a cheaper option with a more sustainable product as well. Um, Simply as, all we're going to do is cut that top cartilage section out. You can eat that cartilage, it will go soft when you cook it. But for day, today's purpose, we're going to be malleting it out and um, making a sheet and spreading some garlic butter on there, rolling them up and double crumbing them and frying them. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, we've got that little piece of cartilage there. We're just going to knock that off just up the top. We're going to put that aside. We're going to use that in a marinara, mi a marinara mix later on. So. Um, just that little bit of a, the skinnier part down the end there. And then all we're gonna do is to start with, I'm just gonna roll this out as we're slicing into it and turn it into a bit more of a sheet. So we've got a bit more of a surface to work with, just like so. And we'll do the next one. Very simple technique. Like I said, this is a great cheap cut of fish and this is just a really nice, different sort of way to serve it. Sure to please. And you can make these up earlier in advance as well. Um, have them stored in the fridge, ready to go. So we've got those there now. Grab a little bag, use a freezer bag or whatever you've got lying around the house. Even a clear sleeve from a folder. And we'll pop the the shovel nose shark in there like that. Get our meat mallet on the spiky side. And all we're doing now is just getting a nice consistent layer thickness the whole way through. Obviously you don't want to go too hard here and break the fillet. So just a nice little tap. So not quite Bob Ross, don't beat the devil out of it. Just give it a nice tap through there and do the other side as well just the same and then we've ended up with a nice little sheeted fish to work with like so. Now, yeah, uh, well, bashed out fillets, gently tapped out. Uh, I'm just going to trim the edges um, to make sure they're a nice, consistent sort of shape. And with these guys, I like to go one across just above halfway mark. So we've got one square and then that piece there. And again, up this side as well. One's going to be a little bit smaller, but that's okay. You work with what you've got. So, now we've got some garlic butter here. This is just uh, basically what you'd make for garlic bread. Um, so, parsley, butter obviously, uh, minced garlic, salt and pepper, and parmesan. And what we're going to do, we're just going to season these fillets with salt and pepper. Don't be afraid to season your fish too. A lot of people sort of go a bit light on when it comes to seasoning their fish. There's a nice little dusting on there. Salt and pepper mix. And we'll get our little bit of garlic butter there. If you're doing a lot of these, I suggest using a piping bag. Um, but for today's purposes, we're only doing four, so we're just going to mould a couple little strips, just like so. Very simple. This doesn't have to be garlic butter either. You could use like a lemon and tarragon or 
just let your imagination go wild really. It doesn't even have to be butter. You could just use a Moroccan couscous or something in there as well. There's plenty of things you could use this technique for. Um, basically, the main thing you need to care for is having a fish that's gonna withstand being pressed out. So that's where your swordfish comes into play. Um, you could just use thin sheets of an albacore tuna and instead of bashing it out, just cut really thin. Um, but yeah, so once we've got those there, I'm just gonna roll these up like so. Really simple. Just in those little cigar shapes. Just making sure to keep that butter inside. There's our little one. It's also worth noting, I've got my fryer on a lower temp, so it's about 165, I'd say. Just because they are a bit thicker, and we want to make sure that that gets heated through all the way and the butter melts as well. Um, so I'll pop them aside. Whip up a little egg wash here. So we're gonna double crumb these, so here's a little bit of extra egg wash. We've got two eggs. milk, just a splash, and we'll whisk those up. It's another really simple dish, really, really easy. Absolutely, taste-wise, incredible. Sure to wow, the, wow your friends, they won't understand whether it's uh, fish or chicken, they won't know what you've done there, it's that good, so um, we'll just roll these in flour first, make sure you get the ends as well. Right there like that. Into the egg wash, and then straight into the crumbs. Same again, just making sure you get those ends. And then back into the egg wash, and then back into the crumb again. Really is that simple. You'll end up with your little garlic filled fish sausage, if you will, or Kiev. And so we're gonna get those done, we'll pop them in the fryer and we'll go from there. Okay, so we've got our individual Kievs all ready to go there. And like I said, we've got our fryer not maxed out, we've got it at about 165. Um, and this is a really simple part. So you can make these up ahead of time, have them ready to rock and roll in the fridge, um, and then just pop them in the fryer, just as you're about ready to have dinner. So we're gonna pop them in for about three to four minutes, and then we'll cut them open and serve them. Gorgeous. Okay, so these have been in now for about four, four and a half minutes. Just lift them out. Let a bit of that excess oil drain off, then we'll pop them onto some clean towel um, and then cut them in half and serve them um, and basically get ready to enjoy. So we'll just bring them out there like that. Just like so. A little light seasoning again. Chopping board. So, a bit of fried parsley, just regular parsley rather, and that's it. Shovel those shark Kievs, one of Coffs Harbour's finest.